Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very very interesting question from radical equations. Fifth root of x plus 11 minus fifth root of x minus 21 equal to 2. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by taking this minus sign into the radical. We can write equation as fifth root of x plus 11 plus fifth root of minus times x minus 21. So we can write 21 minus x equal to 2. Now we will use substitutions. Let us say first radicand x plus 11 equal to a power 5 and second radicand 21 minus x. Let us say b power 5. Let's add a power 5 and b power 5, we will get x plus 11 plus 21 minus x plus x minus x will be over, we will get 32. So, I will be writing a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 32 or we can write 32 as 2 power 5. Now, from the original equation, we can write fifth root of a power 5 plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 2. So, fifth root power 5 will be over. We will get our second equation a plus b equal to 2. Now, I will put this 2 value over here as a plus b whole power 5. So, this will become a plus b as 2 and then whole power is 5. Let's write this equation. So I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to a plus b whole power 5. Or we can write a plus b whole power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5. Now we will use Pascal triangle and binomial expansion to expand LHS. So we should know the coefficients. So I will write 1, 1 for power 2, coefficients will be 1, 2, 1. For power 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. For power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And for required power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Let us expand our LHS. So, I can club coefficient 1 and 1, first and last one. So, I can write a power 5 plus b power 5. Then coefficient 5, I will take a b common. So, in the bracket, we will get a q plus b q. Then we will write coefficient 10. So, 10 times a square b square in the bracket a plus b. RHS is a power 5 plus b power 5. So from both the sides we will cancel a power 5 plus b power 5. Now I will expand a cube plus b cube also. So 5ab. Let's write the formula. a cube plus b cube is a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. Then we have 10 times a square b square times a plus b equal to 0. Now we can take 5 a b a plus b common out. So in other bracket we will get a square plus b square minus a b from first term position and from second term position we will be getting plus 2 times a b. RHS is 0. Now we can write here a times b times a plus b. And this bracket will give us a square plus b square plus a b. 2 a b minus a b is a b equal to 0. So from this equation we can conclude 
either a equal to 0, b equal to 0, a plus b equal to 0 or a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. Let's write here. So I will write ab times a plus b times a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. So our conclusion will be either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or a plus b equal to 0 or a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. We have to solve these four equations. But from the third equation, as per our equation number 2, a plus b was 2. So this cannot be possible. We will reject as it is a plus b is one constant 2. So it will not come into the picture. So I can continue from here a equal to 0, b equal to 0 and third equation a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. Let's consider third equation first. I will write here a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. Let's multiply both sides by 4. So I will write 4a square plus 4b square plus 4ab equal to 0. Now I will split 4b square as b square plus 3b square. So I will write 4a square plus b square and then 3b square here equal to 0 and then our term 4ab. Now from these three terms, I can write this is 2a plus b whole square. We can check also 2a whole square is 4a square, b whole square is b square, 2ab term will give us 4ab which is term number 3 plus 3b is square equal to 0. So sum of two squares cannot be equal to 0. Let me write here 2a plus b whole square plus 3b square equal to 0. So sum of two squares cannot be equal to 0. It is only possible when individual brackets will be equal to 0. So I can conclude 2a plus b equal to 0 at the same time b equal to 0. Once b is 0, 2a plus 0 equal to 0. So a will be equal to 0. So our conclusion is still same a0 and b0. Now if I will write our substitutions. So I can write our substitution was a power 5 was x plus 11 and b power 5 was 21 minus x. If a is 0 then I can write a power 5 will also be 0. If b is 0, then I can write b power 5 will also be 0. Let us put over there. So I will write a power 5 equal to 0 and b power 5 equal to 0. a power 5 was this radicand. So I will write x plus 11 equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative 11 our first real solution. Now from b power 5 equal to 0, our b power 5 was 21 minus x. So I can write here 21 minus x equal to 0. So we will get x equal to 21 as our second real solution. So overall we are having negative 11 and 21 as our solutions. Now we will cross examine whether they are true or not. Let's check. I will write here check x equal to negative 11. Our solutions were minus 11 and 21. So I will be writing our equation directly fifth root of 
x plus 11. So in place of x, we'll write minus 11 plus 11 minus fifth root of minus 11 minus 21. This is our LHS. So this will be 0 minus fifth root of minus 32, which will be equal to 0 minus fifth root of minus 2 whole power 5. Now fifth root power 5 will be over. We will get minus of minus 2, which is equal to 2 and 2 is our RHS. Hence, minus 11 is verified solution. Now we will check x equal to 21. LHS. Fifth root of 21 plus 11 minus fifth root of 21 minus 21. So here we are getting fifth root of 32. 32 we can write 2 power 5 minus 0. Now power 5 and fifth root will be over. We will get 2 and 2 is our RHS. Hence 21 is also verified solution. So we have two real solutions, negative 11 and 21. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.